Welcome to News Making Headlines on December 21st. Well, many view the CRES or the Center for the Resolution of the Emergency Situation as an albatross hanging over their heads. They may be glad to hear that today, a PC's cabinet will decide on whether to wind it up after it was established in April this year following racial protests that descended into a state of disgracefully utter chaos. Thai Post is confident the CRES will meet its end today. Its main headline says, Curtain Closing for CRES. The cabinet will also decide whether to scrap the emergency decree after it was imposed in Bangkok more than six months ago. Pujit Khan believes the jailed red leaders may be released. Its headline state, See if emergency decree is removed today. Red leaders release imminent. Army chiefs says laws must be abided by. Following the weekend airbag poll in which PM opposite got a job approval rating of 6.7 out of 10, Pujat Khan highlights another survey, this time by Kung Te Poll, which takes a different view. The newspaper's main headline shouts, Poll indicates Apisit has failed, lacks leadership. Well, his government did get a poor score of 3.8 for its two-year administration, while the, uh, prim the Prime Minister himself received not more than 4.4. Now, we have all heard about corrupt politicians, but corrupt judges? Well, here's a case of one which received front-page attention from Pujit Gan. Its headline says, Judicial Commission fires judge after finding him guilty of extramarital affairs and accusation of 70 million baht extortion. The paper runs a picture of appeal court judge Somsak Jantakun, who was found guilty by the committee of having a sexual relationship with a married woman and getting her to extort money from company executives accused of embezzlement, siphoning off money from the stock market, being involved in a case inculpating a top hotel on Sukhumvit Road and bailing suspects on fraud charges. And here is not so welcome news for the business sector. A Thai Post headline screams, Upset! World Bank drops Thailand from list. The list features countries in which it is easy to operate a business. Our country has dropped from 16 to 19 in rank. The criteria used in judging include the startup process for businesses, registration of assets, obtaining loan facilities, and tax payments. Well then, is the government taking notice? We had better shape up. We wind up this program with the annual nicknames tagged on two celebrities. Thailand features pictures of actresses Poi Shao Mao, Lept, and Pinky or Savika Chai Dead. Ploy has been given the rather unlikely nickname of Mafia Angel. Entertainment News Shounds believe she deserves the name for her talent and no-nonsense personality when it comes to keeping her man from other women. Meanwhile, Pinky has been given the name Sari Lee Rak or Seeking Love in India. Well, the sari is a well-known traditional Indian outfit which some even see as a symbol of that country. As for Pinky, she says she likes the nickname as it sounds cute, but denies going to India to seek love. She maintains she went there only on a work assignment. That's it folks, have a pleasant day.